to use the rubric, you have to access the grade mark. And then once you're in the grade mark, that's the four icon to the right. Once you're in the grade mark, just uh, submit all the grades. So if I were to switch this one from one to two and apply rubric percentage to grade, the top number would change. So, I mean, you can add comments as well, both in audio and text. And if you want to change the rubric or modify the rubric or import and export the rubric, press the little tool icon and then you'll have the rubric there. Um, you can click on this little icon over here too to see all the rubrics that you could use instead of that one. And then you also have this icon which usually is used to uh, go to a different application. So in this case, that icon on the top right corner allows you to both import and export rubrics. So I'm going to export this one. And it saves as a file on your desktop, a file that has, see if I can show you, um, and .rbc, that's how it ends. So it's a particular type of file that's used by TurnitIn. If you want to import a rubric, you press on the list icon on the other side of the screen and then um, you can actually that's that's for selecting them so if you want to import them press again on the icon that you used before now hit import instead find it in your downloaded files Select it, import, and then you could import the rubric I want in this case, but that's what you could do. So we'll leave it the one that it was. That is the one that was shared with me. I'll leave that one and close this out. So I didn't make any changes, but that's how you would make a change and use a different rubric. Thanks.